So me and Bingen, we are on summer holidays from school, even though it's just five days. But we decided to rent a car. We climb Mount Fuji together <laughs> after a year of trying to. Finally. So without really having any other like big plans, we were camping on the lakes that surround Mount Fuji. And yeah, yesterday we drove off to Odawara and saw the castle. How was the castle? That was nice. That was nice. The rocks. The rocks. At, um, the rocks, yeah. Mitsu, Mitsu no Ishi or something. Mitsu Ishi. That was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful sunset. Then we drove up to Hakone. I didn't film anything from there because I was tired and it was dark. Now we had some breakfast and we're gonna go to the Lake Hakone, see the shrine. Then you wanna see a museum, I think? Yeah. Yeah. And then what else have we planned? Oh, the bridge. There's like a hanging bridge. That's gonna be fun. Looking forward. And then camp two nights and then we're going to climb Mount Fuji. Check, check. <laughs> Let's go. To the shrine that was fun but I think there were a bit more people than expected no, actually that was expected but um, <laughs> it's not, not a surprise really um, yeah we're now going to the ropeway up to the Hakone mountain and from there hopefully if the weather is clear enough we should be able to see Mount Fuji Now at the top of Hakone Mountain, what do you say? It's amazing. How was the view? It's amazing, but you couldn't see Mount Fuji. Yeah, there's too many clouds. But there's a shrine <laughs> up there. Gonna go there. And yeah, we're gonna climb Mount Fuji, so we've seen it anyways. <laughs> Maybe it clears up though, a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see. You're like, <laughs> as a structural engineer, <laughs> how does that make you feel? Happy days. Happy days, <laughs> yes. No, it's actually called Mishi... Mishima? Mishima. Is it Mishima Skywalk or something? Yeah. Longest uh, suspension bridge in Japan or something. Our teacher recommended us to go. Finally did it a year later, <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> We're so good with keeping the schedule. That's actually nice. Yeah. A bridge is not only a thing between a place and a place, it's also a thing between people. 
So after that quick stop at the Mishima Skywalk, we continued and we arrived perfectly for like the sunset at the Motosu Lake, which was again <laughs> incredible nature, absolutely beautiful. So we just quickly set up our tent, went to sleep early to see the sunrise next morning, which again <laughs> was really beautiful. Like we went to the place where if you look at the thousand yen bill, the old one, not the new one. You can see a drawing of Mount Fuji. The inspiration was from that place, from that like view of the lake. We went to take some photos there. It was really nice. The lighting was, was like still morning light. It was really beautiful. So here are the photos. See for yourself. I definitely recommend going there. So from there we continued driving to other lakes that were surrounding Mount Fuji. One of them is Saiko Lake. And there, there's like a traditional Japanese village. You see how people lived hundreds of years ago. Plus, like having the beautiful nature at the lake with Mount Fuji in the background. And there we got some Japanese sweets. Dango to be exact. So after eating that, we went to the other two lakes. Lake Kawaguchiko and also Lake Yamanaka. There though, I didn't do too much filming. Checking out all the lakes is definitely like an experience that is worth it. We didn't do much activities, like you could do kite surfing, cycle around the lake. Like there's a lot of stuff you could do at these lakes. We went back just before sunset and then I had a nice little refreshing evening swim at the lake. So again, we went to bed early because today is actually the day where we're gonna hike Mount Fuji. So it's now 10 past six and we are off to Mount Fuji. So we arrived at the parking station, taking the bus now to Fujinomiya 5th station and then from there we can finally hike the mountain. I'm so excited. Oh, where are you being? I'm oh, excited! Yes! How is Bingen doing? Good. Are his legs okay? Yeah, there's like acid, milk acid as we say in Norway. 
or uh, 31 years old, as we say in the rest of the world. 32, actually. 32. You look younger than you are. So proud of this moment, being the fighter, son of Bjorn. Do you know where we sleep tonight? Uh, I hope it's close. <laughs> oh. I hope it's close. <laughs> and with that, the bucket list is done. One, one thing less on the bucket list in Japan. You happy, Bingen? Happy. Changing to the Norway <laughs> kit immediately. It's not about the finish line, it's all about the journey. Tokyo, get back to the car, and then that's it. Very happy, being Very happy. Praying for some, praying for some uh, shiu ramen. Oh, ramen will be good. So that's it. Also for the video, I hope you liked it. And what should they do? Matane. No. no what, what they should do? Like and subscribe, idiot. Oh, uh, like and subscribe, and all that stuff. Hit the bell. Matane. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>